There are two other dimensions that are very important to the longevity of our economic growth. Number one is our regulatory policy. How much do we burden companies with just an avalanche of regulation that deters growth and deters opportunity seeking? You know, for example, in, in financial services, the SEC dropped almost a thousand pages of new regulation, proposed regulation on the industry over the course of this year. Which means that I'm now again in my boardroom talking about the impact of regulation and not growing a business. And you think that's playing out across? Across every industry. I, 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 it, it always, you know, people get very confused as, as to why I'm such an advocate for free markets. It's because there's a tone and rhythm of regulation that both protects consumers and maximizes growth. And we are right now, again, in one of these episode, episodic moments where we're just deluging corporate America with regulation. I mean, let's be clear. This is why regulatory, the regulatory lever that you didn't talk about is so important. Because the tone from DC sets to every corporate boardroom, are we growing, are we building, are we investing, or are we playing defense? And we need to be on a growth footing. But a growth footing where we're actually creating new drugs, where we're building new buildings, where we're solving problems. And not nominal growth because we've employed countless tens or hundreds of thousands of more people in bureaucracy-oriented compliance roles. That's just the wrong way to, to move our economy forward.